fantastic. What warms me even more is to see so many lovely faces over there. I mean, um, I didn't expect so many people to come, so it's brilliant. Not only that, but I can see so many different faces and genders as well. So it's nice to see men's opportunities for women. So that's lovely too. Um, just to introduce myself, I'm Dora Jordan Paul. Like I say, I'm a teacher, I teach lovely young um, teenagers. So um, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be as new as the other two new today, so they usually are to be on today's basis. Um, and I'd just like to welcome you for this evening, for a very truly unique event in St. Paul's Cathedral, such an historic place. Um, I'm also the ambassador of City Seeds Network, um, which is why I'm here before you. And City Seeds Network has indeed um, organised this event. I thought I'd give a bit of a profile about City Seeds Network. Um, it's a non-profit organisation created to promote networking, education and volunteering amongst the British Sea community. We organise a lot of events to promote charity work, to promote events such as volunteering and um, just promote part of life journeys and spiritual paths um, for the young generation. But looking around it's fantastic to see loads of different um, age groups here as well, which is wonderful. Um, we do provide a universal values of Sikhi, which we don't think that are exclusive just to Sikhi, but to all faiths, um, and which is why it's fantastic to host an event such as this, uh, with so many different faiths. Um, it's very, very, I don't know, it seems almost um, something that's never been done before. Um, Support for people for sure. So that's fantastic to be hosting this event tonight. Um, and I'm honoured to be hosting it in such a historic venue just to give you a brief history of St. Paul, uh, which um, I was just saying it's on my doorstep and I've never actually stepped into these walls before. And it's just um, wonderful to see the history as well, just reading upon what, it, what it's about as well. Um, St. Paul's was actually destroyed in the Great Fire. Of, um, London in 1666, and 1666 was also the year that the Robin's Energy was born. And then it was finally rebuilt three weeks after the Robin's Day's passing in 1708. Um, also, when it was rebuilt, after the Great Fire of London, they built a spiritual home for the Order of the British Empire. And the Order of the British Empire was the first order which actually included women, but not only women, but foreigners, which um, served in the war as well. So it's a fantastic um, place, which I'm sure everyone else would speak and tell us lots. Um, so, without further ado, I'm very proud to be hosting a discussion about the important role of women in all religions in such a prestigious historic building. I'd like to just introduce um, Sarah Heinzo, uh, who is a representation and representative of the Paul. So, um, just to introduce him. 